Tonight on Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup, we visit Whitefish, Montana at Bar W Guest Ranch. And we're going to do some roping, some riding, a little fishing, a trip into town, and a unique chance to see what the local rodeo here is all about. Welcome to Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup. This week, we're in Whitefish, Montana at Bar W Guest Ranch. This gorgeous ranch near Glacier National Park and the famous Whitefish Mountain Ski Resort sits tucked between two pine-covered ridges and it's open all year long. I'm the owner's husband. Yeah. <laughs> Owner Dave Leishman and his family had no ties to the Dude Ranch life, but enjoyed yearly vacations in Montana to ski and relax in Big Sky Country. A friend once convinced him to visit a dude ranch while in Montana, and after a few more trips, he knew he just had to have a ranch of his own. So they packed up the kids, moved out here, and bought this place. With virtually no ranching experience under their belt, they spent the next few months learning how to ride, rope, and wrangle so they could put it into practice at their new place. Hey. Today at Bar W Ranch, it is a popular go-to destination for Western hospitality and luxury vacations. To kick things off, Dave has asked me to join his family and a few personal friends at the restaurant he owns in town. You love whitefish. Why, why a dude ranch? I didn't know this was here. I didn't know this existed. Mm -hmm. I had never experienced it. I had been working seven days a week, 15 hours a day for about 10 years. I said, you know, I'm blowing this father thing. My kids don't know who I am. Yeah. Uh, I leave Christmases, I leave weddings, I haven't been to a recital. I'm blowing this father thing. An acquaintance in my office said, Davy boy, you gotta come to Montana with me. He said, if it doesn't change your life, I'll pay for it. <laughs> and it did. We bought this thing and um, it was a 90 degree learning curve straight up. Hard work, right? Oh, it's a lot of hard work. It's a little more than you, uh, you, you bargained for, but then at the end of the day, you come in and you kind of loved what you did. Yeah, the kids grew up on a ranch. Yeah. That's cool. Dinner is exquisite. The chefs and staff here are top notch and they really know how to do it upright. Abruzzo Italian Kitchen is Dave's restaurant and it's in the perfect location, right on the main strip in the center of town. Whitefish is a really cool place. There's plenty of shopping, restaurants and attractions. You could spend the entire day and a whole lot of money in this quaint tourist favorite. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the other guests are out on the lawn learning how to square dance. We call that doing the bear thing. It's fun, isn't it? Everybody face to the center. Bow to your partner. Turn and bow to your corner. You never have to feel out of place while learning how to square dance. It can be confusing, but don't worry. Everybody else is just as confused as we are. Once you get the hang of it, it's smooth sailing. It is such a beautiful night and everybody's excited for this week ahead. I am too. Whew, well, we've got a lot to do. So when we come back, we're gonna get into some team penning action. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Waking up to the smells and sound of breakfast being made for you downstairs is a great way to start the day. There's piping hot scrambled eggs covered in melted cheese, layered over diced potatoes and sausage, fresh coffee. It is so good. My room is upstairs in the lodge. It's a beautiful, spacious room with a view. 
and offers one of my favorite features, a nice big bathtub. And you know I'll be putting that to use. (laughs) After breakfast, the Wranglers gather down at the corral to bring the horses in, feed them a hearty breakfast, and get them saddled, assigned to a rider, and prep for the day. Who gets Cayuse? Debbie? Dave joins us this morning, and he can't help but get a kick out of watching the horses as they react to our drone, taking pictures from overhead. So curious. Duke okay. and Dan are like, what is that thing? Look at them staring <laughs> yeah. at it. They're all staring at it, actually. Whoa. <laughs> Sorting cattle and team penning are functional jobs on the ranch. When you're working with the herd, skills like good placement, communication, and timing are important to get the job done. These are Coriane cattle. They are bred for rodeo, so they are bred to be stubborn. So with that being said, we have a saying that a slow cow is a smart cow, a fast cow is a dumb cow. So if you could run in there and you get those cows moving around really quick, they're just gonna get more stubborn and more stubborn and they're not gonna get anything accomplished. They're just gonna run circles. If you look at a cow and you imagine if it had a saddle on its back, the cinch kind of in that armpit area is what we call their drive line. And that's basically gonna indicate how they move in relation to you and your horse. Um, They're gonna move away from pressure. There's different kinds of pressure, physical pressure and verbal pressure. Physical pressure is just kind of getting in their space. Verbal pressure is talking to them, yelling at them, kind of slapping, making noises. You just don't wanna use the same noises that you use to make your horse move. You don't wanna be clicking at the cows because then your horse is like, oh, we wanna go faster. The cows wanna stay as a group, so try and move them together as a group. Like I said, you're gonna be putting pressure on them um, and that's no matter where you are in the arena. So if you have a line of people kind of pushing the cows all from behind and one person starts to kind of get out in front of the cows, then the cows are gonna start stopping and then you'll have like, you'll split the herd up. So try to kind of move them together um, uniformly as much as you can. It is okay to kind of trot a little bit here and there in the arena, but if, like I said, if you're running right into the middle of them, they're just gonna scatter and then you're not gonna get anything accomplished. Uh, yeah, is there a demo? <laughs> no, <laughs> we just turn you loose. Okay. Okay. So we're so just going to... It's kind of like shoeing chickens, right? Did she say you don't know what the goal is? <laughs> the goal is to put it... You're going to be fine. I know, exactly. Loser. <laughs> we're going to run a few drills to test our skills in the arena. We'll take them this side. We'll take them around this side. Push, 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 push. Here we go, here we go. It's hard enough just to get this done, but to do it fast is a different challenge altogether. Time! Good job, guys. Extra points. (laughs) 57 seconds. I don't think that was as fast as our practice. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. (laughs) <laughs> and fist bump. <laughs> and bump. <laughs> Outside, a few of the other guests are getting lessons in steer roping. I don't feel like I'm doing it right. I don't feel like I'm holding this right. Oh, here. Yep, yep there like you go. Like that. Okay. <laughs> Look at Kevin. This is for you, Spencer. <laughs> Kevin is so patient. So, so I would pull it off of him. Oh, always pull it off of yeah. him? Yep. They're pretty docile, but... You never know. Yes. Cowboys always make it look so easy, but there's nothing easy about it, oh, yeah. even when the steer are standing perfectly still. These guys are really patient. And they're pretty used to the guests, so I think they know that the chances of them actually getting roped, pretty slim. When we come back... We're going to take a ride through the forest, enjoy a fancy lunch by the lake, and head into town for a down-home whitefish rodeo. So don't move. We'll be right back. (laughs) Bringing in the horses every morning is a favorite activity among the Wranglers. Being out there among these majestic animals, watching them do what they do best. I love it.
Today we're taking a ride up into the hills to check out the surrounding property. We get saddled up and hit the trail, which gives me a chance to chat with Dave about the ranch and his property. We started this ranch with one truck and one trailer and 12 head of horses. This forest, what you see here, this has been logged. This logging emulates a fire, but it doesn't destroy the wood like a fire does. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to leave a tree every 25 feet, which they come in here and they calculate that out and they work. And it gives you a better line of sight. Yeah. There's less fuel for a fire yep. and there's more food for, for the animals. This is managed by the Division of Natural Resources and Conservation. Mm -hmm. And they really, really manage this, this area well. It's a working forest. Now, when the trees are this far apart, yes. they'll grow in 12 years what it would have taken them 75 years to grow. Oh, okay. Because the nutrients go to the trees that are here. Right, exactly. And it goes they, faster. They're not fighting for the nutrients. Mm -hmm. Dave is pretty much self-taught when it comes to ranch life. Though he didn't have it passed down to him, his love for this lifestyle has made him an excellent student of all things ranching. So what do you call this particular ride this morning? Uh, this, we would refer to it as our one hour ride, but we, we refer to this as Moose Pond. Okay. There used to be a moose in it. Oh, so this is Moose Pond and you just decided to name it Moose Pond because there was a moose in it? Yeah. Okay. I bet you'd find a lot of wildlife coming here to get water, huh? Yes, you do. Man, if they put a time lapse on this, I bet we would see so much. If someone was to ask you what was your definition of a dude ranch, what would you tell them? I think a dude ranch is out just outside the comfort zone of a lot of folks. I've had many people say, the reason why they came to our ranch because 3.5 miles away is a 36 hole golf course yeah. and a, a cool vibrant town. The ski area is 12 miles away. The park is 23 miles away. And at the end of the week, they'll tell me that we never left the ranch. Yeah. You know, that, so I guess my idea of a dude ranch is it's Western culture, Western community. And, uh, and, and goes with that, goes the, the shooting and the archery and the fishing and, and the, the boating and the horseback riding, of course. And I love that you have internet and reception. I haven't had that on any of the ranches. <laughs> but for a place like this, it's kind of cool because you can still come, you can still be in touch with your work and your family, but yet decompress and be in the lifestyle as well. It's rare, it's very rare. Well, We've been to a lot of them. Have you come down and... Oh, Jesus, what, 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 what? It's the car. Oh, it's not going to eat you? It's come on. It's the car. Now. He's like, what is that thing? Is it going to eat me? Jeez, Dave, what are you doing to me? Car. <laughs> <laughs> we have a catered meal being set up for us today. While I'm out wandering the hillside with my horse, the staff is busy back at the ranch getting the wagon ready to take us to lunch. There is so much involved in getting draft horses dressed up in their gear. It prepares them for being hitched to the wagon. The Wranglers have done this time and time again, and they've got the process down pat. Good thing, because I wouldn't even know where to start. Over. Once they're all hitched up and ready, it's time to roll over to the lodge and pick up the guests. check this out. This is pretty cool. Homestead ranchers back in the day, they might not have had the luxury of a horse-drawn Uber. Sitting lakeside dining and all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> but we do, and it's amazing. We're working here. So as the rain's moving in after lunch and almost ruins our fun, the Wranglers set up a few tents and we're gonna keep this thing going. Nicely okay. done, guys. Man, that's what you're setting this up. Getting yeah, this all no prepped for us. Fun to get out here. In this thunderstorm. Yeah. This is a fun thing to do when you, you know, can't be riding. As a few of the guests shoot skeet next door, Dave oversees the handgun target. Tick. All right. <laughs> Gun is loaded. Okay. Finger up here until you're ready to pull the trigger. Okay. Right. 
such a good feeling shooting that gun. It, just, it really does feel good because then you sit there and you know you watch all these cop shows and stuff, but when you actually get behind it, you're like, that is not easy. And I, I feel myself just trembling a little because it is a big gun in my hand. Yeah. It's powerful. Yeah. yeah. And you did very well, too. <laughs> Thank you. It's always so much fun, and Dave knows his stuff when it comes to guns. He even has some interesting history behind his 9mm and the 45. The 45 was developed from the Philippines when the Filipinos were coming and throwing spears. Uh -huh. They were running at the people and they would shoot them and the bullet would go through oh. and it had no, no, no knocking back. Yeah. So they would be able to get shot Keep and still going. throw the spear. Uh -huh. right? okay. So the 45 was designed to knock them down. Okay. Hmm. Who knew? So I think I'm going to wrap up the afternoon with another one of my favorite amenities, a first-class massage. I'm going to kick back and enjoy this for a while, but when we come back, we'll get back into the saddle for a little rodeo. So don't move. Be back in a minute. Now that the guests at Bar W Ranch in Whitefish, Montana, have had a few days to get kind of used to their horses, they're gonna step it up and compete in a classic rodeo favorite, barrel racing. I will call you guys over in groups of three or four. You will get a practice run, and then we're gonna do a timed run for you. So for starters, you're gonna head over to this right-hand barrel first and make a right-hand turn. Head over to your second barrel and make a left-hand turn. Then you're going to go down to that third barrel and make another left hand turn. Then you're going to come straight back into in between the two poles that we are going to have set up here. We get Rebecca, Joyce, Margaret, and Debbie coming over. I'm not going to take a practice. Just because I think I got this. Next up is Debbie and Larry. Debbie is just going to go and do her time run. Oh, I guess she missed the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Everyone is enjoying this so much. We may not be eligible for the American next year, but we're still doing pretty darn good. And we've got a great cheering section. Now it's time for some real rodeo action. Lucky Melrod! The Blue Moon Summer Series Rodeo is as real as it gets. Some of Montana's best riders and ropers come together every week through the summer to show us their skills. Alex getting on the ranch master with a cigarette. Bar W guests are treated to this night as part of the week's experience, and it's a unique offering that not many dude ranch guests get to see. The Blue Moon Saloon hosts this event, and it's definitely a place to stop while you're in town. Where the buffalo roll, where the deer and the antelope play. Well, it has been a great time at the Bar W Ranch. They serenade us with songs around the campfire to help bring our vacation to a close. It's a great chance to reflect 
and enjoy the company for one last night. Home, home on the rain, where the deer and the antelope All right, guys, if I can have your attention. We are going to be passing out some awards from our penning and our rodeo yesterday. So, first off, we have first place in team penning with a time of 57.76 going to Jim, Michelle, Holly, and Debbie. Thanks in barrel racing with 24.38 going to Debbie Dunning. much from me and my team for making this week so unbelievable and unforgettable. I know it's kind of hard when you hear a film crew's coming in, but you really all have embraced us as one of you. So thank you so much for letting us intrude and and actually, you know, playing with you. Yeah. When I first laid eyes on you, I swore I'd do anything I let you clean me up, fix me up, just to get you to wear my wedding ring. Now I'm having second thoughts, I'm writing you this letter. Cause I'm scared to tell you to your face, I like the old me better. I like the old me better. I was a lot more fun, I like the old me better. I didn't take crap from anyone when I'd sleep all day. Party all night, do whatever I wanted, whatever I liked. You made me a brand new man, but I liked only better. Thanks so much for joining us. That's it for this week. But be sure and tune in next time, because I can't wait to show you where we end up next Don't week. Don't get me wrong, it ain't that bad, and I appreciate your work. I don't drink as much, don't swear as much, you even made me go to church. <laughs> I ain't done much talking since the day we got together And I'm a different man because of you But I like the old me better Sing with me, I like the old me When you're ready to book your next Dude Ranch vacation, visit www.thebarw.com I didn't take crap from anyone Well, I'd sleep all day Party all night, do whatever I wanted Whenever I liked you made me a brand new man, but I like the old me better. Well, you made me a brand new man, but I, I like me. I like the old me better. Bravo. <laughs> 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 Too bad my husband's not here because our anniversary is tomorrow. <laughs>